Hey guys, this video will look at the differences between the nominal and the real interest rate. So the nominal interest rate we're going to talk about, what we've talked about is what is controlled by the RBA. So the nominal interest rate is controlled by the RBA. And this is what the RBA controls when uh, manipulating or conducting its monetary policy. So the nominal interest rate can be defined as either one of two things. So from the investor's point of view, it is the return on investment. And from the borrower's point of view, it is the cost of borrowing credit. So to look at this very simply in an example, we can say the interest rate, I, is 5%. And so if you want to borrow $100, this would mean that if this interest rate is a 5% per annum, and we're only calculating simple interest, this would mean the total repayment, I, or the interest rate paid, would be equal to the sum, so $100 multiplied by 0 0.05, which would equal $5. Okay. So this would be the cost of borrowing $100 now is to pay $5 in interest at the end of the maturity date of this loan. So that would be what we know as the cost. Similarly, secondly, we have the cost or the return on investment. If we were to invest $100 at 6% per annum, then we should see that the interest repaid would be 100 times 0.06 which equals six dollars and this will represent the return on investment so after a year this would mean you would gain six percent back on your investment and you would have a hundred and six dollars in your bank account for example so that's the nominal interest rate it is either the return on investment or the cost of borrowing credit a monetary policy, or how the RBA conducts monetary policy, is to manipulate nominal interest rates by altering the supply of money in the economy. The real interest rate is different because it takes into consideration the real interest rate because it takes into consideration the inflation rate. So it takes into consideration. the rate of inflation. And so, like all real variables, it tells us how much our money is actually worth. So how much purchasing power our money is worth. So the real interest rate is our actual return on investment or the actual cost of borrowing credit. So this means that sometimes when inflation increases, our return on investment would, is lower than what we expect or our cost of borrowing is actually lower than our initial nominal cost so if we look at this same example inflate or interest rate is at five percent and inflation being pi equals two percent we can use Irving Fisher's equation or this guy is a very famous equation Fisher's equation which says the real interest rate being R is the same as the inflation rate minus sorry the nominal interest rate minus the inflation rate so the real interest rate equals nominal interest rate minus the inflation rate as calculated by the consumer price index we can see that the real rate of interest here would be R equals 5 minus 2 equals 3 percent so if we look at this initial uh, equation there of the the same cost of borrowing of $100 say we borrow $100 you multiply that by 0.0, .0 
three now and the actual cost of borrowing that investment is actually three dollars because of this rate of inflation because money in the future is worth less than money now due to this two percent rate of inflation and again if we look at the return on investment the real the real rate of return would be a hundred dollars multiplied by zero point zero four so six six percent minus two percent and we get four dollars so instead of uh, having a return of instead of having a nominal return of six dollars we have a real return of four dollars so even though we have a hundred and six dollars in the bank account the hundred six dollars in the bank account could only buy $104 worth of goods and services in the future. So that is the difference between nominal and real interest rates. The real rate of interest is determined by this Fisher equation, which is simplified into R equals I minus the inflation rate. And we can see that the difference between the nominal and the real interest rate is that the nominal is the actual amount or the, the, the value controlled by the RBA, whereas the real interest rate takes into account the rate of inflation which may depress our purchasing power.